Hello, I'm Michael Sims. I'm one of a hard-working team of veterinary surgeons based at Westover Veterinary Centre. And I'm going to introduce you to a femur. To most people, it is a thigh bone. And as everybody knows, the hip bone's connected to the thigh bone. Here we have the femoral head. This is the ball part of the ball and socket joint, and it links the femur to the pelvis. To the left is the greater trochanter. All the major hip muscles attach at this point. These are the gluteal muscles, perhaps better known as the buttock muscles. Not in the dog, though. Then there is the femoral shaft. It is hollow and contains bone marrow, a rich source of developing red blood cells, especially in the young. In older individuals, much is replaced by fat, rather like the rest of one's body. Below, the thigh bone is connected to the leg bone, or more specifically, to the shin bone, the tibia, and also to the kneecap bone, the patella. This via the condyles, left and right, and the trochlear groove. I hope that's all clear. We do see a lot of broken thigh bone. Oh. This is a simple fracture, or break, and I would repair it with a metal intramedullary pin. It is extremely strong, unbendable, and sharpened to an exquisite point at each end so that it can penetrate solid bone with minimal effort. It is introduced into the shaft of the upper fragment, driven through the bone until it penetrates the skin, where it can be gripped, and redirected down into the hollow shaft of the lower fragment. The excess is sawn off, and presto, job done. The femur is the biggest, longest, strongest bone in the animal body. This one is different from all others in detail only, and in size. This tiny bone belonged to a water shrew.